Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com, and today we're going to tell you all about the gallery view. Here are the topics and the timeline for today. First, we'll show you the methodology behind the indicators used for the gallery view. Then we'll show you the different places you can access the gallery view. We'll go over the different charts on the gallery view page. And finally, we'll show you how easy it is to customize the charts on the gallery view. The chart methodology. Using four charts on one page, Gallery View provides chartists with a short, medium, and long-term view. And this one-page view makes it really easy to perform in-depth analysis and gain perspective. The indicators and settings for the charts in the Gallery View are based on the recommendations from John Murphy. And John Murphy is, of course, the author of several books on technical analysis. He is also the chief market technician here at stockcharts.com and you can read his post by going to our blogs page. Also, if you're on the gallery view page and you see an indicator that you don't know about, you can read about that in our chart school. So if you see here, you can see at the top we have the PPO indicator. You may be wondering what is the PPO? Well, you can go to the chart school to look for the PPO because there's an article there, or you can click on this search icon. You get a little pop out. And if you just search that term, we'll search for PPO and the list will pop up with the results. And at the top, you can see a chart school article on the percentage price oscillator. Accessing gallery view. There are several ways to access the gallery view. First and foremost, at the top of every web page, you will see a symbol entry box. And if you just enter a symbol there in that box, on the left, there's a drop down menu. And if you click on that, you can select gallery view and then click go and you will have a gallery view for that symbol. You can also access gallery charts from the charting tools section on the right hand navigation of the free charts page. And if you scroll down in the middle of the page, you will see a section for gallery view. Also from the members page, you can go direct from a chart list to gallery view. So if I click on chart list, I will be taken down to my chart list and I can click the view as link there and I can select gallery view to view all the charts in that list in the gallery view. You can also access the gallery view from any of the summary pages. So on this free charts page on the right, you see the summary pages here. And if I click market summary, I will be taken to that page. And on the left hand side, you see four different icons. And the second icon is for a link to the gallery view. So if I click on that icon, I will get a gallery view for that particular chart. Four views on one page. Gallery view starts with an intraday chart that shows 10 minute bars. And this is for the short term perspective. And at the top, you can see all the information about that particular symbol. And then you can see two moving averages, a 10 and 20 period, and then volume bars if appropriate at the bottom. In the middle, we have the medium term view using a daily chart. We've got the PPO on top, and then we've got the 50 and 200 day moving averages, which John Murphy uses all the time. At the bottom, we have the stock charts technical rank in purple, and we have the Chaikin money flow oscillator, so you can see whether there's accumulation or distribution. Then we have the weekly view, which gives you a long term perspective. And again, we have the PPO at the top. And we've also got a price relative that shows you how that particular symbol is performing relative to the S&P 500. And finally, we have a point and figure chart that will give you a, another perspective on how this symbol is performing. Customizing gallery charts. It is very easy to customize the charts that you see in gallery view. You can change out the indicators as you wish. Now, just note that the time period remains fixed. So 10 minute remains 10 minute daily and weekly. They remain daily and weekly. So here in this example, I've got a 10 minute chart 
and I've put on Bollinger Bands, and I've left on the full quote at the top, and I've got MACD down at the bottom. There you can see the settings. There's the settings for full quote. And once I've got that 10 minute chart just like I like it, and I want it to be in my gallery view like that, click add new, and then you will put in gallery intraday and add that chart style. And now whenever you go to the gallery view, you will see that style of 10 minute chart in your gallery view. We can also customize the daily chart in the gallery view. Now I would point out that the width of these charts is set. It's fixed at 800 pixels. So that means your date range needs to be appropriate for the width of the chart. And what I've done is I've selected fill the chart. And this is a little over six months. If you scroll down to the chart settings, there you can see fill the chart. Now if you select one year, that means you have to get one year of candlesticks in that 800 pixel width. And that means you're going to have some squished candlesticks and it's going to be hard to see the detail. So I'd recommend sticking with fill the chart for your gallery charts. So when you've got that daily chart customized how you like it, you can click add new and then you can add gallery daily. Click add and you will have that new chart style. And of course, we can do the same thing with our weekly chart in the gallery view. Now, I've already created a gallery view weekly chart style, but say I want to change that chart style and I make some adjustments to my weekly chart. Well, I can go down. I've got the chart set the way I like it, and I can click replace on that chart style. And then I can select gallery weekly replace, and I will have a new chart style for my gallery view. To set the default for the point and figure chart, we first need to create a point and figure chart. So I will enter a symbol in the symbol entry box at the top. From the drop down, I will select point and figure chart and click go. Now I will have a point and figure chart to work with. There are all kinds of settings that can be adjusted at the bottom. And once you've got these settings how you like them, click save as default and that will be your default point and figure chart setting and it will apply to your gallery view as well. Once we have all of our default settings set, we can go ahead and enter a symbol and then click gallery view, click go and you will get a gallery view with all of the default charts that you just created. Now I would also caution against adding too many indicators to your gallery chart views because this is a very long page and the more indicators you add, the longer the page will be. And that concludes this instructional video on gallery view. Thanks very much for tuning in and be sure to check out our other instructional videos.